He is 61, unemployed, and hoping to help other job seekers find work, today, but more importantly, support. New at 4, News Channel 36 anchor Bobby Sisk introduces us to a man who figured out how to help others during his own job search. And that you recently I unemployed sold, myself. You unemployed yourself, essentially. Bob Singleton's situation is a little different than most. The company out in South Dakota, they wanted my business, and they were willing to pay me for it. In December, he sold the company that he and his wife Ruth built, ChurchSigns.com. I knew that I could sell the business, and I could, I could take a year and try to figure it out what to do, and I really thought it wouldn't be so hard. A background in design and web development, Singleton realized he didn't have some of the certifications he needed. He found that out when he started reading job postings. I read these things and I'm caught up with this overwhelming feeling. I wouldn't hire me. He'll probably head back to school in the summer. His wife and daughter, who also worked in the sign business, are already enrolled. But with time on his hands. Because I didn't have a plan when I built it. Singleton built charlottejobseekers.com. It started with his own desire to catalog local job support groups. I really wanted a place where people could get together and tell their story and, and, and be encouraged. Uh, I, I guess that was the most important thing to me. He's mapped the groups that he's confirmed are still meeting. The mature seekers, people like me. He plans to list job fairs on the site, along with free assessment tools, even a place where job seekers can post their resumes. This is his. I, I obviously... Uh, my first resume in 40 years, so I obviously need a professional to look at it. Singleton is passionate about helping others with this project. As I have a little bit too much time on my hands, I've been adding pages. While freely admitting, he's finding his own new direction along the way. I want people to come on here and just feel like they're not alone and that other people are in the same boat. Bobby Sisk, News Channel 36. And even though Singleton sold his company, he says, yes, he still needs to work. And more importantly, he really wants to work. We put a link to his website on ours at WCNC.com. Bobby will share more of Singleton's story this weekend in his jobs column in this Sunday's Charlotte Observer.